Hi there, this is Rob, and this is the Two Minute Overnight Overview for Friday. Today, I plan to review last night's action and also share a new feature that's now available to Overnight Edge's subscribers. Here's the odd sheet as it stood near the close on Thursday. We had some bullish indications here. SPY met the minimum criteria. ES was very close, and so was uh, Diamonds and YM. As you can see, price action and internals were bullish. It was seasonality that acted like the wet mop on Thursday. There were no edge finder studies that appear for me to take into account. So while I went back and forth a bit in the trading room, basically trying to talk myself into a long position, evidence wasn't quite strong enough for my standards. That's too bad, because the night ended well for those that took long positions. Here's a look. After settling at 15.39, ES chopped around for much of the night. A morning rally helped out the bulls, and ES gapped up five points to open the day. That was 49 cents for spy traders that didn't pay attention to ES, to ES missing out. Uh, it, was, it was a good night for aggressive traders overall. My conservative approach again left me sidelined, unfortunately. I want to go back and show the odd sheet one more time, since I have a new feature that I've added to it. Right now, uh, where the odd sheet appears, there is now a link that says download odd sheet in Excel format. If you click on this link, it'll do just that. There's something. This is something I've added for a couple of reasons. Some subscribers have, have expressed an interest in storing the odd sheets each afternoon. This would allow them to do that. Secondly, while I don't use the odd sheets in a completely automated way, this will allow automated system traders to pull the data near the end of the day if they wish uh, to have trades automatically generated. The spreadsheet is updated as often as this is updated, about once per minute as we approach the 4.15 close and the 4 o'clock close. This feature is not currently available for ETF-only subscribers. It's only available for those with futures and ETF subscriptions. That's all for today. Thanks for listening, and rest easy.